What do we use S for in Vim? Well, we use it for substitutions. Substitutions. What's up? Welcome back to another day of our short series called Vim Alphabet, going from A to Z in Vim. Today we're talking about S, and S is for substituting things. Kind of like R, kind of like C, uh, we're gonna have to explore the differences there. So let's jump into our editor and open our lipsum.txt file. Yesterday we covered R, which allows us to replace a character. So if we do R and do a lowercase l, we can replace that character without going into insert mode. S is really similar, except it does put us in insert mode. So if I undo that and I use S, it will delete the character under the cursor. And now you can see that we are in insert mode. So if we needed to replace more than one character, um, so now let's say we have lorem has a silent h in it and we needed to add that h um, we could use s for that now this also bears some similarities and it is actually an alias for cl which is to change to the right so that's that's the way that we have in the past deleted a certain character and gotten into insert mode um, and so S is an alias for that. Now, capital S will, no matter where you're at, delete the entire line. And as we've covered before, these are uh, just one line. There's no line breaks in here. So this is why it deleted the whole paragraph. So if we hit capital S, we can delete the entire line and um, get into insert mode. So insert new text here, okay? That is also an alias for a C command, which is CC. So if you don't want to type the two characters for CC, you can use S to do the exact same thing. S also works with visual selections. So if we start a visual selection with V, uh, do E a couple times to make that selection, we can hit S and now we have substituted uh, this for the text that was in our visual selection. That's uh, pretty much all there is that you need to know about S. If you need more help, do colon H S, and that will take you to this. And it talks pretty much about everything that we covered. One thing that you'll notice is that these do go into the register. So they are puttable with P. You wanna substitute that and then put the text that you deleted somewhere else. So that's it. S is kind of like a weird combination of R and C in some weird ways. Um, and uh, I find it incredibly useful. I really like S a lot. I think you will too. If you have any ways that you particularly like using S, um, throw those down in the comments. I'll include a playlist in the description for the other letters if you're just coming to this video. And um, that's it for today. Tomorrow we'll be covering T which is actually connected to F. So widespread in the, those letters, but um, it's a really good one.